Listen, I get it. Your iPhone is one of your biggest distraction devices as content creators. How do I actually turn my iPhone into my productivity co-pilot so I'm able to stay focused if I have to edit a video on my phone or if I have to post content. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to turn your iPhone into a distraction-free device so that you can get your creative work done without the distractions. As content creators, this iPhone is usually our distraction. We, we have so much things on it. We have our social apps. We have all the things. And you know, sometimes when you pick up this phone, it usually takes you down a whole other rabbit hole that you did not intend to do. By default, this is what my actual lock screen actually looks like. And also when I log in, this is what my home screen actually looks like on my iPhone. Very minimal, very direct on the things that I use. I have my capture system here. I have the apps that I use on a daily basis and also it will change based on what it is I'm doing. Okay, so let me show you how I was able to turn my everyday home screen to change when I switch out to creator mode. This is what it actually looks like right so it's very focused it has all my creative apps that i would use on this phone so i want to do the same for work um in that i want to be able to have my business when i'm doing like admin day i want my phone to reflect that admin day when i put on that focus mode so the first thing i'm going to do i'm going to lock my screen right i'm going to tap on hold right and notice I have several different um, home screens and lock screens. What I'm going to do, I'm going to swipe to the left. And notice at the bottom here, it does give you the option to connect um, your lock screen or that profile that you're creating to a focus mode. So we're going to create a whole new one for work. So I'm going to swipe to the left. I'm going to tap on add. I'm going to scroll all the way down scroll all the way down and look for something that is very minimal um i'm gonna use the gradient color so i'm gonna choose this first one and i can swipe between the styles i'm gonna swipe between the styles and i'm gonna use this vapor because it's giving this hue and also i can literally just um switch up the style uh, of the text or I can add not a darker color just to you know, just add a little right so I'm not gonna add any widgets but you can add your widgets here whether you want to do your clock when you what do you want to do your weather or whatever you can also remove these icons you can remove the flashlight and you can also add something else I use these two icons because this is the two most accessible things that I use when my phone is locked all right then I'm gonna tap on add and I'm just gonna ask me if I wanna set it as a wallpaper or I can customize my home screen. So I'm gonna tap customize home screen and I can either pair it, I can do a color, I can do a gradient, right? Or I can do the, uh, choose a photo and blur that photo. I'm gonna leave it at pair. And if you notice, if I tap on, I'm gonna tap on done, right? I notice this is in here if I swipe up let me come out of creator mode All right notice it's when I log in now so because I I selected this lock screen and I swipe up notice my entire screen has changed so I'm gonna do some further customization because my eyes are, are sensitive to light and so with that I want to be able to um, have it in a bit of a dark mode. So I'm gonna tap on hold down. I'm gonna tap on edit. I'm gonna go to edit. I'm gonna choose customize and I'm gonna choose dark, All right? And then I'm gonna release. The next thing I'm gonna do, I'm gonna create a dedicated home screen. So I'm going to tie this to the work focus. So how I'm gonna do this, I'm gonna swipe to the left, go into settings. Then I'm going to come down to focus and then I'm going to go into work. 
Now by default, I already have settings for my iPad. If I'm working on my iPad with the work focus, what that actually looks like. If you missed that video, you can click, you can check it out in the link in the description, or you can click the card to the top to see how I would have set this up with the iPad, right? So I'm going to use the same settings. I'm going to select that. I want to allow notifications from these two apps. Also, I'm going to leave everything as it is, take off intelligent breakthrough and silencing, but I'm going to customize my lock screen and my home screen for the iPhone. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to choose the lock screen first of all, and uh, it's going to give me the option to either create a new lock screen, or I can hook, I could have simply, uh, come in here and create it from scratch, or I can choose from what I already have because I just went through showing you how to create your personalized lock screen. I'm going to choose that one that we just created. I'm going to select it and tap on done. All right. The next thing I want to do is to customize the home screen because I want to have the apps that are relatable to the focus mode. And so I don't want to have any additional app i'm designing the lock screen and the home screen with intention it's not about the aesthetics for me but it's about the function of turning my iphone into my productivity co-pilot so i'm focused on what i'm doing so i'm going to tap on choose and then it's going to ask me if i want to create a page or i can choose from the page so i want to use the create a page option so i can give you an idea of how to actually do this so i'm going to tap on this middle one here all right, and then I can choose edit apps. And this is a new feature that has been featured in iOS 18.5, I believe, at the time of this recording. And so what I can do, I can edit the apps. So I'm gonna turn I'm gonna tap on edit apps. And then I can simply take off what I don't want. Um, I'm gonna take off Amran. So I want my three mail apps. I want structured, I want notion, I want my notes, I want I may not want chat GPT. But I also want, um, because I'm using the structured widget, I'm going to take that off. Um, I don't want my camera. I don't want these two, but I may also want CC 360, which is my CRM. And then you can literally scroll down and choose other apps that may not come up there. But again, I may want to choose mail a note. Um, right. So I don't want it to be too crowded. So I'm going to tap on done and notice it changed from that default and notice it's more tailored. So what I'm going to do, so I want to show you how this is done by default, because I'm actually, there is a focus mode activated and it's showing at the top here because I'm recording once I have like Ecamm open on my Mac OS, or I have a. I have different triggers that I have set. It's going to switch to recording because sometimes I can forget and <laughs> switch the focus mode. So I'm going to lock this screen. I'm going to lock my screen. I'm going to switch it out. So notice because I've attached it to the work, notice work is appearing here. This is usually my default. And <laughs> so this is what my default screen would actually look like. Now, if I want to switch the focus mode, this is what I'm going to do. I'm going to swipe down. I'm going to switch from recording and I'm going to say, well, okay, I want to choose work, right? So I'm going to tap on work and notice in the background, it changes. And so this is what the lock screen actually looks like. If I swipe up, notice the home screen is very minimal. And so in this way, I can simply say, well, okay, I can remove this. I may just want this to be shown. So I want it bigger, all right? So it will just take up the screen, all right? So when I think again, it's very minimal. I notice that my work focus is on. If I go up here, I'm seeing that work is on as well. And notice my home screen changes for this. It shows like I'm on a totally different device. <laughs> and so this is really helpful. And this is like literally creating a distraction free iPhone. If I switch out of that focus mode, if I turn it off, notice it goes back to my regular setup.
That is how you turn your iPhone into a productivity co-pilot. If you are constantly being distracted by your iPhone, you pick it up to do creative work or you pick it up to edit your video in CapCut or some other or some other app and you want to have more focus, you want to design your iPhone with intention. Our iPhones can be quickly become a distraction trap and so we pick up the phone to do one thing and we end up doing something totally different and we find out ourselves on social media scrolling aimlessly without getting what the, the tasks that we actually pick up the phone to do this is going to be super helpful for you so i want you to use these tips set up your iphone as your productivity co-pilot let it work for you for a good week and let come back and let me know if you were able to 10x your productivity and also increase your focus with your iphone if you want to see how i've done it on the ipad you can check out this video and don't forget to like subscribe subscribe and share this with a fellow creative so we can 10x and create a flow for your creative work and your business.